We're at South High School where tonight the Red Wings take on De Pere. Hello everybody, my name is Mike Martin. Joining me is the coach, Chris Wright. Chris, De Pere comes in 3-1. and one. This is a huge game for them because if they win, they're in the playoff. South is 2-2. Two and two. Climb up a little bit in the standings and get a little closer to that playoff spot if they win. Yeah, this is just a super game. I mean, couldn't ask for a better thing. South wants to hold serve, keep winning at home, winning at home, get close to that four we talked about since game one. Let's get to the playoffs, and to do that, you got to hold serve here. As you as you mentioned, Marty, De Pere comes in here three and one, trying to get into the playoffs. But one thing about De Pere is they played the three lowest teams in the conference already, so this is not going to be a cakewalk for those Redbirds. I think these Red Wings are going to be ready. Now De Pere comes in. They got a kid by the name of Blake Rutherford, who's. Uh, Looks like he's a he's a threat in passing and running. What do you know about him? Well, I know that just looking at the offense in general, I mean, he's hit a couple, two receivers got good numbers in the conference already, and they're third in offense overall. So this is a team that has been doing some things, but again, it's against the lower teams a little bit. So, you know, one of the keys, I think, for Sheboygan South is how they can play defense, because right now their defense has been really struggling uh, and putting up some big yards against them. So I think one of the big keys for Sheboygan South is how they do stop Rutherford in that deep year offense. Uh, the kid you're mentioning for the receiving is Evan Newhouse. He's got 16 receptions for 260 yards. Uh, South comes in, like we mentioned, 2-2. Uh, two and two. Defense struggling, but uh, Jake Knuth seems to have his sea legs. Yeah, the offense is fifth in the league, and it seems like every year that Coach Hines' offense is one of the league's you know, top. And you know, they, and he mentioned it in the coaches' show, you know, it seems like we just insert a quarterback, and they just take over the system, and they do very well. And it's, it's no different for Knuth this year. And he's got Martinez and Gregory catching a bunch of balls and you know Jake's been real comfortable you know one of the things he's got to do is take care of the football a little bit we can't have turnovers if we want to make the playoffs I think one of the keys for South tonight is being able to run the ball and I don't mean <laughs> I don't mean canoe scrambling either out of the pocket <laughs> uh, Ben Steen and Ristovoyevic Boris as the kids like to call him yeah. are a couple of pretty good scat backs but they just don't seem to you know, carry the load like we'd like them to anyway. Right, and they got a, a bunch of guys that run, but you know, I'm still waiting for Ben Steen to have that big 100-yard game, that 150-yard game, and you know, he's been destined since he was a sophomore. He he's been playing there and things like that. And I know a couple of weeks ago he was here and just so frustrated, he just couldn't get untracked. You know, he gets to the hole and he just can't break it here. But maybe tonight's the night to have that big thing. And you know, late in the season last year we saw Ben have big explosive games, but you know, at home tonight would be a good one. Well, one guy that pushes them a little bit is Boris. <laughs> We're going to step out. When we come back, we'll have the kickoff in the starting lineup. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. What if you could ignite your child's love of learning with one after-school program? What if that one program was easy and fun? Destination Imagination is the one. Destination Imagination has taught teamwork, creativity, and problem solving for more than 25 years. A major university study showed our students are ahead of others in creativity and critical thinking. Learn more at startateam.org and make Destination Imagination the one for you. When you're behind the wheel, always watch for people walking and biking. It's Wisconsin law to give bikes at least three feet when passing. In Wisconsin, the laws are the same for bicyclists and motorists. So if you bike, ride with the traffic and obey stop signs and lights. People ride bicycles to go places, get exercise, reduce pollution, save money, and have fun. Watch for people riding bikes when you're driving. Share and be aware. We're all responsible. Local government, local educational institutions, and local community members all use cable access TV to communicate their message. They depend upon it as an affordable means of outreach. Public educational and government access television empowers local government agencies, individuals, and groups to use the media to speak directly to their constituents in a more direct and cost-effective way. Make sure everyone has a voice. Support your local PEG channels.
your face. They're back at uh, South High School's football field, and there you see the Red Wings heading on to the field, being announced as a team for uh, De Pere. They uh, went through the uh, starting defense. Uh, South comes in with a 2-2 two and two record. Uh, De Pere is 3-1. and one. South is uh, led by Jake Knuth at quarterback, and uh, he's got a couple of real good receivers in uh, Mitchell Martinez, who has... Uh, and Taylor Gregory, and we talked about both of those boys in the opening. Uh, they're good uh, long distance receivers. And there you see uh, some of the coaching staff, Mike Rank, Chris Korf. Our crew tonight is Kerry Kautzer is our director. Richard Bartson is on the top camera giving you that shot. And uh, Eric Wiesman is on the field giving you that shot. Chris Wright will be doing the play by play. And Mike Martin, that's me, will be doing the... Chris Wright will be doing the color. <laughs> Mike Martin will be doing the play-by-play. -play. Two weeks ago I had to do that. Yeah, it was good practice for you. Yeah, Gary Doctor here. Oh, no, Marty, you, you're, don't be thinking about retiring here. You got no place to go until the, the snow flies. My wife actually said she was going to miss me tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we'll just leave that one sit. Big game here, Marty. You know, I, I was mentioning in our opening a little bit about the fact that the Piers played the bottom three. And one thing about when they did play Sheboygan North, it didn't end up 44 to 14. But my understanding is for about 21 minutes, it was 30 to 14 and back and forth and back and forth. So, you know, Isn't like Pier, they dominated, huh? Right. Uh, two late scores on, in the last three minutes by the Pier. Uh, made that score a lot bigger than it was. So, again, the Pier 3-1, and one, uh, they scored 133 points and given up 58, but they have have only played, you know, Bayport, who's no slouch. They're ranked 6th in state, 31-6, uh, to six, but they played east, north, and west. And uh, it should be a really entertaining ball game, and I've been looking forward to it all week. Back deep for uh, the Redbirds is number seven, Evan Newhouse. He's that uh, big-time receiver we talked about. And Evan Zellner, number 27, uh, their top running back. Uh, Huffman does the kicking, and it's a short one taken at about the 40, 32-yard line. And uh, trying to get to the outside is uh, Brett Marshall before he's knocked down near the 50-yard line. Well, let's hope that that was a uh, mistake there because I don't think that was the best thought process there. Um, right, yeah. So you want to give him the ball at the I understand you made a good replay there. Uh, you may not want to kick it to the guy, but you sure don't want to kick it to, a thir to the 35 and give him the ball there. Well, and as a result, the Piers at midfield already, and that's not a good start. Quick snap, handoff to Zellner, and uh, he gets hit right at the line of scrimmage. So nothing there. Zellner comes in, 63 carries, 438 yards, which puts him fifth in the league. He does average about seven yards a carry, and that time he got the big O, which will drop it. Another guy, Aaron Stebor, has 11 carries for 149 yards. He's a... Uh, Number 20, he can be a guy that goes a distance. Pitch back to Zellner, and he's hit right at about the 48 and then scrambles forward. What? He's still on his feet. He got hit right at about the 48, right. and then he moved forward about six more yards. Here's the replay. I thought he was down right here. Right there. And he just right. broke through the tackle of Shebley. A pick up a nine on the play makes it third and one. Something south, the last two times we've seen them play, they've been pretty clutch on their tackling, and that time uh, they, they didn't get it. Instead of a no-gainer, it was a gain of nine. Zellner to set back. He gets uh, the handoff, and uh, the power forward inside the 40. It's going to be a first down for uh, De Pere. Boy, I don't know if you've had a chance to watch De Pere, Marty, but my gosh, they get up to the line of scrimmage, and they just go. I mean, it's just set and go. There's no hot, hot, hot. I mean, it's just snap and go, which, you know, maybe later on they're going to try to get, you know, south to jump or something like that. But they do not. Look at this. They're right up to the line of scrimmage, Marty. Here they come. And they hustle up. Herzog had that last carry for the first down. Rutherford to Zellner. 
and uh, he scoots up near the 30 yard line. It's gonna be stopped just short. There you see the replay, but it is, you know, it's one of those situations where you don't have a chance to really, as a defense, to read anything because they're up at the line so fast. You know, you can't read where the uh, wings are or, you know, are they double on one side? I mean, they're up there to the line and defense has got to be ready to go. And off to Zellner again, and he's stacked right at the line of scrimmage, maybe a yard at most. Good tackle there. Dylan Kummerl. Watch Kummerl come up here and boom! Yeah, the defense has got to get set. You know, you got to make your calls quickly as a defensive coordinator because when they come up there, you just see this situation there. Third down. There you see Evan Newhouse, number seven. He's uh, their big time receiver. Also scooting out is uh, Adam Beyer, number two. Rutherford rolling, looking, he passes off the mark. He had the receiver, Newhouse, but uh, pass goes incomplete. And it's gonna be fourth down. It's just a little down and out kind of situation. He kind of juked to his left and then ran to his right. And uh, fortunately for South, Rutherford was a little bit off on the situation. And here on, we're gonna attempt the field goal. Uh, you know, they better be careful here for the fake. Lining up to kick it is Newhouse. That Newhouse is no. the holder. Right. Yeah, I can't catch his number either, Chris. I think it's one. Twetstein. Good snap. Kick is long enough, not quite long enough. It bounces uh, off to the right. Off to the left, it's a uh, field goal attempt is no good. South will take over. Ooh, that was a good kick. Here you see it, it's on a line, and you know, it does hit the line, Marty. That yeah, does up. go over the end zone, but uh, wide left. Be first and 10 for South. So the defense holds, kinda like that. And they're spotting the ball at the 20. What? Jake Knuth. Oh. That's a weird rule. Steen is the deep back. <laughs> Phil Risto, this is not your dad's NFL. <laughs> Steen has it. He's through the line of scrimmage and scoots forward up over the 35. Nice run. Like that. South comes in, eighth in the uh, league in rushing. Gain a seven on the play. You know, they're averaging, you know, close to about 160 yards a game, 764 yards in four games. Fifth in offense. That was the Skype type of run we need Steen to have all night. A lot of guys in the backfield, Chris. A lot of guys up for the pier, too. Trying to get a kick out block. Uh, good defense played that time. <laughs> the ball carrier, Ristovojevic, uh, was stacked up. He had three offensive linemen downfield on the safety, but the uh, guys that were making the tackle could have used some red shirts in front of them. Yeah. Gain of two, it's going to be third and one. Pierre known for their defense. They're fourth in the league. Wildman is the up back. Steen the deep back. And Knuth on the quarterback sneak. I like that play, Chris, and you're shaking your head. You like that too. Yeah, right to the hole there. Quick snap, just picked out the spot. Good job there by Jake. You know, going into the season, I thought one of the strengths of the pier was their uh, defense. They returned a few kids that were all-conference players, you know, second-teamers, honorable mention type players. So relying on their defense, I'm a little surprised how well they're doing on offense. But again, maybe it's their competition. Yeah, that could be. Derek McLaughlin, big number 76, is the uh, left tackle. Hand off to Ristovojevic, and he's hit for a loss back to the 30. Eric Nolan came up on the play. That was a nice play. Watch him come right through there, basically untouched. And you just can't have that. I mean, a missed block there. Yeah, ball side, too. Yeah, Jeez. Wildman there. And the pier has really got, you know, they're up front. They got eight guys in the box. 
Martinez is wide to the right, and uh, Gregory is uh, wide to the left. Wildman is the lone setback. Steen is in the slot on the right side. They get it to him on a quick out, and uh, he's going to try to make something happen. But uh, the pair played pretty good defense on that, Chris. I, I think that's a nice play, too. Get Steen out there where he can use that speed. But with the pier so close in the box there, you probably wanted Steen a little wider, you know, outside of the, you know, where the ends are there and the linebackers. I mean, he was almost too close there for that play to work. But I like the idea because getting Steen out in the open with that speed, it could work. Third down and just under 10. Knuth rolling. Firing over the middle, he had a receiver wide open, but uh, misfired. Gregory was intended receiver, but pass goes incomplete. It's going to be fourth down. Tough play for any kid. Running to the opposite side, the left side, planting his feet and then delivering it there. Gregory was wide open in the middle of the field. But again, you know, you got to roll left as the, sh the white shirts are coming after you. Stop and then make a, a perfect pass, and he just missed them. Wildman is the punter, does all the kicking. Good kick that time. Catch is made at the 33. And uh, Wettstein is knocked back at about the 36. Make it at the 41. Well, the only difference, Marty, is that short kickoff. I mean, yeah, they, well, they're going to be starting 10 yards back approximately right. from the first time, so hopefully... Uh, but still, that's just, you know, I'd rather see them go 80 yards than 50 oh, and yeah. 40. Oh, I hear you. Here they come. Pitch out to uh, Zellner, and uh, he's going nowhere. Actually, he hit for a loss, and then there's a fumble at the end. Let's see if they're going to call him. I think they had him being down, so no fumble. Dakota Gamez, watch number 24, fight off the block. It wasn't Gamez, I'm sorry. It was a good play, whoever oh. made it. Yeah. Thought it was Dakota there, but he kind of overshot it a little bit. Second down and 11, loss of a yard on the play. Could have been Wildman there. Inside handoff, a fumble. Yes, they got it. South got it that time. The handoff went to uh, look like Greenwood, and he fumbled it. Derek Not McLaughlin. Greenwood, that was Herzog fumbled it. Yeah, Derek McLaughlin with the big recovery there. We interviewed Derek a couple weeks ago, and he loves his big horse guys, his front guys, and that's the way to be a leader and get the turnover, Marty. Yep, first and 10 for South, and now they got the field position. Ball spotted on about the 38-yard line. Steen, the deep, deep back. Knuth at quarterback. No wide receivers on this set. Fake. Quick out. Wildman on the catch gets it down. He's knocked down at about the 30-yard uh, line. I nice like, little pass and catch. Yeah, I like that play, too. It goes back to here. You see all the peers all up front. Just find someone in a little flat there. Good call by uh, Coach Hine. I like that. You know, you don't have to get it all. Just get the little bit. When you got eight guys in the box, they're all playing run, 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 run. And just try to find a little grassy area and dump that pass in there, kind of like to try to hit Gregory before. Forrest Martinez, one of the backs in the backfield. We usually call his name for uh, defense. Yep. Inside the Wildman. He had a good head of steam. Chris got it down to the 25-yard line. And then you're selling that option for later, too. That's another good call there by Coach Hine and his staff. It's going to be first and 10. Ball is spotted right on the 25-yard line. That's Ben Steen, number 34. We're going to do a shutout here real, Chris, real quick. Uh, to Dan Thames from uh, De Pere for helping us out with the pronunciation of their names and giving us the starting lineups. So a big thank you goes to assistant coach Dan Thames. I got mine from Sim Safford. Thank him. He doesn't count. He's a Southsider. He helped me a ton. <laughs> Steen on the pitch out. Can't get loose from that one tackler and then he reaches out to get it down to the 24 for a give him a gain of one. <laughs> a hard one, Marty. Yeah, exactly a hard one. His feet just go, 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 but he just... 
Not a lot of room there. Looks like it's a big gainer, but it gets close quickly. Those are the plays where, you know, if you can slip that first tackler, that's where you get your big yardage games, you know, by being able to slip a tackle and, uh, you know, make a one-yard gain into maybe an eight- or a nine-yard pickup. Knuth in the shotgun. We've got wide receivers, two off to the right, one to the left. Quick out. And good fill by that defender. And uh, making the tackle for uh, DePure was uh, Alex Charneski. Yeah, he looked like he did the old uh, wrestling move there. Watch how he's going to get the foot picked up here. Yeah. Is it? that letter and down he goes. Yeah, I think that was Ristovoyevich on the catch. Yep. yep. We're down to 3.15 in a very fast first quarter. Actually a loss of a few yards. Ball is back. Third down and about 12 on the 27-yard line. Knuth rolling, firing, and gets hit. He had Steen open, but uh, couldn't connect. And again, uh, Charneski making a big hit on the quarterback that time. And Steen was wide open. He just came out of the backfield and ran what they call a wheel route. Went to his left, and he was wide open. But again, because Knuth's running to his left, he can't set his feet, and that ball just sailed a little bit on him. That could have been six. Fourth down and 12. Uh, in this position on the field, of course, they're going to go for it. Gregory right to the left, looking for a Martinez on a deep route, and it's way over his head, way overshot. Not even close. It's going to be uh, De Pere's ball on the 27. Well, Mitchell, instead of just running a vertical straight down the field, he kind of curved to the inside and then went outside. And But it looked like Knuth was run throwing it like he was just streaking down the field, and that's why it was... Right, that's why it was so over, overshot. Good point. We got 2.52 remaining in the first quarter. No score. It's been a defensive struggle so far. Pierre runs up to the line of scrimmage and a quick snap. Zellner hitting the backfield, spins off a one tackler, making the first hit was Ethan Schmidt. Wow. And he's wrapped up for uh, probably a gain of one, maybe? Yeah, watch this. Ethan Schmidt comes right up there. Boom! Got to wrap him up. Yep. Wildman comes in there to clean up the trash, but that's what you want that initial push by Schmidt. Second down, we'll call it nine. Didn't gain but a couple inches, but uh, we'll call it nine. Wide receiver out to this side is Bayer. Rutherford dropping back. Firing deep down the middle. And they're gonna call pass interference. Not looking for the ball enough was Tristan Schmidt, and I think he's the one that's gonna get nailed for the pass interference. Yeah, Look at it, Chris, what do yeah, you think? I think he's face guarding. Watch him put his hand up right in his eyeball there. Yep. And a face. That, that's too bad. That's a nice throw by Rutherford, too. He looks like he's got a pretty good arm, Marty. Yeah, he does. 2-11 left. And a big, 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 big 15-yard penalty. Ball at the 43 now on the penalty on the south. Zellner the deep back. Big handoff, Rutherford over the middle. Oh, Schmidt cutting in front of the receiver. Marshall almost picked it off. I don't mean to sound negative, Marty, but uh, it's two negative plays, because first the interference and then the missed opportunity for an interception. There's a reason why he's a defensive back. <laughs> oh. Bummer. I remember years ago scouting for Chilton, and uh, I don't know, for whatever reason we had, uh, I can't even remember which team it was up in northern Wisconsin, they had this guy that could just run, and he was open all the time on the deep passes, but he could never catch the ball, even when I was laid right in his hands. Wow, well, good play on defense there to stop Zellner, but I, I'm a little nervous that South's not getting that defense called fast enough, and I hope they don't get burned later. Once again, the D-backs are running out, and the, uh, the peer guys are running out. You gotta get out a little bit sooner. Like now, they're all set, ready to go, but I'll tell you what, it gets a little nervous. Here again, here comes Johnny Raff running down here. Rutherford being rushed, 
he gets hit and then skips, flips away, but uh, his pass is incomplete. Good pressure that time by uh, Boris Ristovoyevich, but I don't think it was him. Oh, yes, Ristovoyevich. Yep, it was. Yep. He's on defense. Kumarow, too, was up there. South seemed to be playing more guys two ways as well, Marty. Well, when I was given the starting lineups, uh, De Pere had no players going both ways. And South basically started the year not doing that. Timeout South. What an entertaining quarter, Marty. Yeah, for not having any points scored, you're right, it is. A lot of back and forth. Mike Rank in the uh, special team tunnel for the Red Wings. On October 5th, that's two weeks from tonight, the 1962 South High football team, they were undefeated that year and uh, won the conference and in the end of the season rankings were ranked number one in the state is going to have a reunion. And uh, we look forward to that. We're hoping to uh, get a couple of uh, well, those players to come up and or whatever, be interviewed, either be up here or down on the field, but uh, we certainly would like to do that. Well, I'm looking forward to that too, Marty. You know, that's something too, the years that you live in Sheboygan, you hear about how good their team was and yeah. some of the players they had that were just outstanding. And you know, those are the kind of guys that, uh, I mean, they're just legends now. Yep. You know, 40 years later. 50. <laughs> 50, yeah, you're right, 50. What am I talking about? Uh, DePierre got a pretty nice bounce. It's going to go down inside the 25. They're going to down it at the 24. Be first and 10 south at uh, the 24 with 116 remaining. Well, that DePierre offense, that's uh, put up a lot of points against east, west, and north. Not much. Missed field goal, fumble, and a punt. You know, I like that attempt for the field goal. Not just, you know, it gives the guy a little confidence even though he missed it, but it also can set up a fake for later in the game. It scares me for later in the game how far he can kick it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Wildman was the man in motion, and uh, Steen gets hit actually in the backfield but falls forward for a yard. Not good blocking that time. Ball spotted on the 25. They'll do a little better blocking there, boys. They're running a full house backfield for the most part, Chris, and it looks like they want to try and run the ball. It's just not working out for them so far. Forrest Martinez, one of the backs in the backfield, along with uh, Ristovoyevich, in motion was Wildman. Boris. Oh. Boris was down and got up. Uh, it's not. It's not rugby. He got some positive yardage that time though, Chris picked up about four. It's gonna be third down and five. We're to uh, 15, 14, 13. They're gonna wait till the next quarter, Marty. Yeah, it looks like that's what, exactly what they're gonna do. Uh, at the end of one quarter of play, there you see it at the top of your screen, no score. I'm a Packer fan. And we're Packers, Packers fans. fans. Hi, I'm David Collins, superintendent of the Wisconsin State Patrol. Packers fans are the best fans in football. We are the ultimate team players. The ultimate team player. Be the ultimate team player. Always have a designated driver. Always have a designated driver. Live responsibly. Packers fans. Don't let fans drive drunk. Responsibility has its rewards. Go Packers! Go Packers! Go Packers! Hi, I'm Jeff Daniels. Want to play? I first picked up a guitar 30 years ago, and what started out as a hobby quickly became a way of life. Playing music isn't about perfection, it's about fun and self-expression. See how you can get started at wantaplaymusic.com. 28 yards total for a South at quarter. The Pier only had uh, 26, all of them rushing. No completed passes. It's third down and five. Knuth rolling, fires us. 
Threw the ball hard, but uh, the most likely person to catch it was the defender, Charneski, who missed it. A good thing there. Let's so have a fourth and five. First report from Sheboygan North and Green Bay Preble. North zero, Preble 21. Oops. We'll be there next Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. Celebrating 75 yeah. years of South High School, or North High School. Against East. Against East, and uh, they should have a good chance there. Good snap. The kick is away by Huffman. Zellner makes the catch, and he's down right at the 45. So it'll be first and 10 for De Pere. And again, uh, they've got pretty favorable uh, position, Chris. Field position. Yeah, I don't like that. Nice to flip the field a little bit here. Yeah. Ball is spotted outside the 45. We'll call it the 46. There you see the chain gang. They weren't here in 1962, Marty. No. <laughs> they wish they were. Zellner's oh. on the loose. And a big hole, and he got it all the way down to the 40-yard line. Oh, we... Tristan Schmidt making the play there. First big run there for uh, De Pere. You really can't blame the South defense so far. They've been pretty stellar. 13 yard run for Zellner. Pitch back to Zellner again. He scoots it, gets to the outside. Avoids a couple more tacklers and gets it down inside the 30, 25 yard line. Another good run, watch this. Good block on the, on the wing. Right there, a kick out block, and then he avoids a couple of tacklers. Yeah, good offensive line push there and blocking for uh, De Pere. And the only person that had a chance is Wildman, but that was just a hope and a prayer as he tried for his legs, and we got another timeout for Sheboygan South, Marty. Yeah, that's their second timeout. And a 20 yard pickup that time. Uh, they really got the running game going, Chris. Yeah, all of a sudden, too. I mean, De Pere's very little going, and now all of a sudden, you know, on that field position, it just. Yeah, it's always a concern. Here's their running plays in that first quarter 0, 9, 7, 0, minus 1, 1, minus 1, 2, minus 1. And all of a sudden, this quarter, 13 and 20. They got more rushing yards in these two plays than they had the whole first quarter. And one play, and even 13 and a 20. Was. Yeah, that's what I mean. They get a good shot of the stands. That given to you by uh, Eric Wiesman. We're up in the booth somewhere. When we come out of this uh, timeout, it'll be first and 10, De Pere, ball on the 21 yard line. Zellner, the deep back, he gets the handoff, spins off a one tackler, but McLaughlin doesn't let him go that time. Spun off and got hit at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, Ethan Schmidt again up there for the initial hit, but again, can't make that big stop, but he's definitely penetrating and caused havoc for the Redbirds. It's actually a loss of a yard, so make it uh, second down and 11. Rutherford trotting into the huddle. Byer is wide to the right. Newell's uh, not in on this play. Pitch back, and good tackle made there. On the hit for uh, South was Raff. Yeah, and Gamas. I was a little nervous because there's you know, trips on this side all tight, but they didn't do their blocking very well, and good play by the Red Wings. Third and nine. Herzog on the carry. Ball spotted at the 20. Rutherford back, firing over the... Oh. A nice pass route. Uh, Rutherford made a good delivery that time. Catch was made by Newhouse. And that's uh, going to be first and 10. 18th catch of the year. 
second in the league in catches, second in the league in yards, and first in touchdowns as a wide receiver. And now, it looks to me, and another timeout by South. Yeah, it's going to be first and goal. That's the last timeout for uh, the Red Wings. I wonder what their uh, what the problem is, Chris. Boy, they've uh, really got their offense in gear this quarter, Chris. It's going. McLaughlin and Rodriguez uh, entering the huddle. Coming out is uh, Cody McLaughlin. Well, Newhouse in there along with uh, big Adam Beyer. Beyer goes 6-5. Rutherford also in the backfield. It's so first and goal. Ball right on the 10-yard line. And hey, they got a time motion. Let's run up there and quick snap it, but not everybody was set. And that time cost them. Yep, backfired. Boy, you get down to the nine yard line and. It's going to be first and 15. Well, that helps Chris make him go uh, 15 instead of the 10. South again, a uh, little bit late getting into the defensive oh set. And the pass is complete to Byer, and he's into the end zone touchdown. Gave him the inside route. The defender was on the outside shoulder, and he just cut it in, and uh, you're going to see it. Just a basic Boom. cover, too, Marty, and he just ran right by Shebley. Uh, that's Byer's. Uh, 12th catch, he was 7th in the league in yards. That's his third touchdown of the year, and DePierre strikes first. Wettstein is in to kick the extra point. He showed a good leg on that uh, field goal attempt earlier. Kick is up and good. With uh, 9.58 remaining until halftime, it's uh, DePierre 7, South nothing. Dude, I did the most shocking thing today. It was just something I never thought I'd do. Did your parents find out? My mom cried. What'd you do? but that drive, uh, the pier was the better one. And yeah, they went 54 yards, Chris, in uh, two, four, six, seven plays. Actually six, one was a penalty. Yeah, they, uh, they didn't look good in the first quarter, but coming out in the second quarter, very impressive. And they took advantage of the field position and uh, got the first score. Kristovojevic and Steen, the deep backs on this. And the ball bounces. Kristovojevic uh, picks it up right near the uh, 20 and then goes out of bounds. I think he's going to be out of bounds inside the 20, Chris. He is. Yeah, talk about a great kick. Lofts it up there and uh, takes a De Pere hop to the right. And uh, instead of being able to go upfield, the minute he catches it, because it's going on an angle, De Pere pounces on it. Well, it's time for the Red Wings to respond here. Yeah, well, there's a case on that kickoff anyway where you got to get up there and catch the ball. Right. That's uh, part of the problem. Wide receivers left and right. Steen the deep back. Inside handoff to Wildman. He pounds forward up over the 20. 
Well, we have rain now, Marty. And we don't, they do. Yeah, and that's, uh, you can't really tell on the, the film, but through the lights, it kind of looks like a, you know, I saw it in the north. I was hoping it'd stay away, but unfortunately, it's here. It's here, and for Eric and uh, Richard, it's uh, Richard up top. Good. All right, second down and five. Pitch out Ristovojevic right through his hands, and Chris had talked about the uh, rain. Maybe that's uh, that fumble right there was a product of that weather. Oh boy! It all is going to be back, spotted on the 10-yard line. Knock on wood, but last year we—I don't think we had any rain. And we're doing the opening. I'm thinking to myself, what a beautiful night for football. But I did see the dark to the north, and it was supposed to rain about 10. <laughs> Fooled us. And it's coming out of the north. Almost looks like snow. Third down and 23. Ouch. Making the catch was Martinez. Tries to juke the tackler, but only gets up to a little over the original line of scrimmage near the 20. Not enough. Maybe fourth down. And for the fourth time, looks like South's going to have to uh, give it back to the pier. And again, it's going to give good field position for the pier. It's ever since that start, that, that kickoff that didn't go anywhere, the pier's, you know, not had to work very hard. Wettstein, the lone, lone back to get the punt and a good big rush, but uh, Huffman got it away, a good punt. And it goes out of bounds inside the 35 and uh, when you look out the window you can see the rain it's hard to see on your on your screen on your TV but uh, she's coming down pretty good yeah she certainly is and that was a great punt by Huffy 47 yards Woo! ball is being uh, spotted inside the 35 we'll call it the 34 well, defense needs to step up this possession, Chris. You don't want to go down two scores. There's 7.53 remaining until halftime. Eric didn't bring his uh, brain to it. Zellner breaks to the outside. He's at the 50, 40, 30, 20. They're not going to catch him. Zellner is going to go in for a score. Oh my. That's a 65-66 uh, yard run. And just like that, they're up 13 to nothing. Ay, ay, ay. Went off left tackle and uh, found a little opening and busted it to the outside, and he was gone. Well, he came in the league fifth in rushing. He's got 98 yards this quarter. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Extra point is good. 14 to nothing. To Pierre. Wow. Last two minutes and 16 seconds. What a difference. Who would have ever thought? Hey, you got Pete Barth up here now. He can keep us straight. Or crooked. Last two minutes and 16 seconds, and ouch. Hey, Pete, I thought you were out of state. <laughs> oh, man. Boy, everybody and their grandma's up here now. Yeah. Except Richard. <laughs> yeah, except Richard. And Eric. Yeah, and it looks like it's lightening up a little bit. It doesn't seem as harsh, but it's just an That's annoying because it's blowing up. <laughs> Instead of coming down. Ristovojevic and uh, Steen back deep to uh, receive Wettstein's kickoff. Long kick, Ristovojevic takes it at the 16. He's out over the 20, and then out over the 25 before he's knocked down at the 26. It's 
going to be first and ten Red Wings. they got to get something going now, Chris. Can't wait any longer. Well, this is the uh, fifth possession for South. And uh, they haven't really put anything together. But uh, it's not, you know, panic time, but it's, it's time to do something. Wildman right up the middle doesn't get a lot. Told you entering the game, the pier is fourth in the league in defense, third on the, against the rush, and seventh against the pass. Second down and about seven. Gregory Ride, Gregory Wide Right. Martinez up on the top of your screen. Pass to Martinez, trying to reach out and make the catch, but can't. Throwing a little bit behind him, Marty. And again, they have. They're playing their straight 4-4, four, four, forcing South to, uh, you know, they're in one-on-one -on -one coverage. So if you can get uh, Martinez down this, you know, streaking yeah. a little bit with well, his speed. He actually had him open there, you know, if you yeah. can get him the ball, and uh, he could have gone, made the catch and gone for the first down. Steen brings the play into the huddle. Got Martinez and Gregory uh, left and right. Steen is in the slot. Knuth in the shotgun, and he's going to take it out. That's not Steen. That's Robert Huffman. Robert Huffman on the carry, but I don't think he made it. Little wildcat action there. Yeah. And at the 6:48 mark, South will be punting again. Just can't get anything going on offense so far. We haven't seen that tonight. Huffman is going to stay in the game and do the punting again. He had a great one last time, 47 yep. yards. Wettstein uh, back deep for the Redbirds. Red Wings doing the punting. Hoping to catch to peer offside, but the Redbirds are smarter. And now you're going to get a delay because you don't have any timeouts left. You're going to sacrifice five yards. Or 6.09 remaining until halftime. I, I didn't like that play, Chris. I don't mind you trying to get him, but snap the ball. Why give up five yards? And the pier has got wholesale changes going on here. Like they're putting in their safety defense, or maybe this is their punt defense now before they had the safety yeah. on. Zellner is uh, the up back, and uh, Wettstein is still deep to receive the punt. Huffman looking. He's got a man out there. Gregory's got it for the first down. Well, you know, they may have taken the penalty intentionally just to set that up. Well, if you know anything about Robert Hoffman, he plays a little bit of uh, infield for Sheboygan South for baseball, and he's got a great arm. And that was a beautiful spiral. He'll be the quarterback next year, hopefully, here. 24-yard pickup. And I think the pier changed. They went from their safety D to their punk D, and South said, we're going to run it anyways. What do we have to lose? First down. The pier territory, too. Knuth back in that quarterback. No, oh, Huffman stays in at quarterback, and he's hit and dropped for a loss. Well, that just can't happen. Where's the blocking? It can't. I mean, he had nowhere to go. The ball was snapped. And Second down. Just like that, Charnarski was right in there on him. Charnarski's had a good half, Chris. He's, uh, yep. We've called his name several times tonight. Huffman at quarterback. Steen is the deep back. Martinez is now wide to the right. Gregory is on top of your screen. Way out there. Huffman looking. Lofts a pass. A jump ball, Gregory can't make the play. Good defense played out there by uh, the De Pere defensive back. You can see the rain in the background there, Marty, now. Yeah. Blair Griffin, I believe that was, making the breakup. That was just too much air on that ball. That had enough air like it was a vertical pass. Exactly. And it didn't go that far. And he's got the wind with him. Um, and it was an easy de play to defend because all you have to do is knock it away. There you see uh, big number 72 for South, Troy Lindstrom. And 71. 
Martinez and Gregory are the wide. Steen in the uh, slot. Huffman looking. Again, going deep to Martinez. And incomplete. Good defense played out there. Making the uh, defensive stop was uh, Bennett Harrison Razor. Well, that's the kind of situation I like there. You got one on one coverage. Martinez, maybe his footing wasn't as good, but he just couldn't show a lot of speed there, maybe because of the wet grass. Are they going to punt this time? I think so. <laughs> They're going to pin him. With 4.53 left. Down, Matt, down here at the bottom of the screen is uh, Dakota Gamez looking to catch a pass. Huffman gathers in the low snap and uh, gets the punt away. And the ball is going to be down near the five yard line. Another great punt. 43, Marty. There's a 4.44 remaining until halftime. It's going to be DePere ball, first and 10. They're uh, spotting it, I think, on the six yard line. We'll call it the six. Good shot there, Richard. Bayer and Newhouse both off to the left, Chris. Inside handoff. And uh, squirting through was the running back, Herzog. Yeah, Wildman made the stop there, but boy, when you pin a team on the five, the goal is to keep them not down there, not allow eight yards on first down. And right now, the pure offensive line is starting to bully the Red Wings a little bit and knock them out of there. You know, and Herzog was just that close from uh, maybe break. If he breaks one more tackle, he's uh, going to go for a long ways. They look so good, Marty, in that first quarter, but the second quarter, they're just dominating the, the offensive line in the ground game. Zellner, uh, not much there. Getting off of the bottom of the pile was Matt Fox, along with a couple of his buddies. They're not quite close enough for a measurement. We're going to call third and inches. Now Zellner gets, won't give him one yard on that. It's going to be third and one. Yep. That's where you'd like to get the big horses, but you can't can't exchange or get your big guys in there because the pier comes up to the line too fast. Quarterback sneak. Oh, Rutherford breaks through. He's at the 40. Trying to get run down by Schmidt. Knocks Schmidt down. He's still on his feet. He's going to go, Chris. Unbelievable. Oh, man. A quarterback sneak, and he goes 85 yards. Yep. Quick snap and see, that's what I was so concerned about. They come up to the line and give it to him. And he well, they were ready. I mean, the defense was ready. He just got through the line of yep. scrimmage, and uh, they were all sucked up, and there was nobody back. Gosh. And that is just a backbreaker, Marty. Oh, it, it is really. They started on the started on the six. They had an eight-yard run, a one-yard run. It was third and one, and uh, Rutherford goes 85. Wettstein's kick is good. It's uh, 21 to nothing with 3:23 remaining. Wow, the last six minutes. And 35 seconds is basically, I'm just in awe. Just in awe. I mean, South was right there, and now you're staring down at a situation. You're down by three scores. Yeah, and the way the offense has been going, they're not going to score three touchdowns. Hey, Gary, can you cue that up and uh, show us a replay of that? Carry in the truck, pushing the buttons, dialing it up, see if we can get that to uh, play again. Well, a little bit speechless too, Chris. You know, they had him backed up on the six yard line. You're hoping for a little better than that. And there you see Rutherford getting through and he pushes Schmidt down and then he gets a little bit of a bump block 
by Newhouse, and that's all it took. Well, I didn't say it, it was a must time to score, but right now we might need a score here going in the half. You know, you can still get three scores in the second half, but Kristovojevic picks it up at the eight and slips down at the ten. And the only good news is the uh, rain has stopped, but uh, we are uh, just a nightmare of a quarter for Sheboygan South. Yeah, 21 points for DePure. And now we're starting on the nine. Yeah, they're gonna call it the 10. Okay, <laughs> we'll take that yard. We had a 15 yard pass, a little slant, and then a 66 yard run by Zellner, and then an 85 yard run by uh, Rutherford, the quarterback. Knuth, the uh, quarterback that time, and uh, breaking through the line was Wildman. He got a real good gain that time, one of the better ones of the night. Yeah, and again, it looked like he had a big gain, or well, he got seven yards, but it looked like he had a, like, ten. <laughs> Very nice wrap-up by their uh, Blake Blair Griffin there of the pier. But, again, South has no timeouts. Ten o'clock is running, 248, yeah. 247. It comes before seven, six, 246. Blitz coming. Need to get a first down to stop the clock. They're not gonna get it. Yeah, not on that play. Looked like uh, Steen on the carry. Didn't get much, no Wildman again. Third down and one. Well, I think it's real important to keep the football, not just to keep the drive away, but we don't want to give the ball back to uh, DePierre. No. South will receive the kickoff to start the second half. And Steen hit in the backfield, no first down there. See if the pier does call a timeout. I was waiting for that. <laughs> you got that right, Marty. They're not feeling sorry for uh, South oh, no. right now. Definitely, they, definitely call a timeout. Yeah, they're gonna. It's a smart play. Yeah, with two minutes left, and they have two timeouts left. They're hoping to get the ball around midfield and attack with Blake Rutherford and his pair of receivers that are pretty good. Yeah, exactly. I just can't believe what's just hit us here, Marty. Everything was going kind of just back and forth, so entertaining in that first quarter and feeling each other out. And well, the pier just blew it open. Yeah, just shocked. Well, Huffman coming back in, he's going to do the punting. Uh, Wettstein dropping back deep. Uh, even if he doesn't catch the punt, Chris, they're going to get it in pretty good field position. There's 151 remaining until halftime to peer up 21 to nothing. They've uh, scored three touchdowns here in the second quarter. No rush. De Pierre looking to get a return going. Wettstein calls for the fair catch at the 48. So they'll have it first and 10. Well, they're only 52 yards away. The way their quarter's been going, that's nothing. Fire wide, a new house in the slot, pitch out to Zellner. Spins off a of one tackler, gets past the line of scrimmage and gets into South territory. Nice little run there. Yeah, you know, I'm watching their line, Marty, and they're just really doing a nice job. One-on-one -on -one taking care of the South guys and creating the holes that are capable. You watch each individual player and who they're supposed to either push to the right, push to the left, or just clear out. And right now in the second quarter, I just think they've done a good job at that. Bayer Newhouse now wide to the right this time. 112 and counting. Rutherford looking deep. He's got Bayer over the middle, but the pass goes over his head incomplete. 
Byer hoping to get some type of pass interference. He's not going to get it. <laughs> He's a big target out there. I'm surprised he doesn't have more catches. It's going to be third down. What did you say the yards were per team in the first quarter? you remember? In the first quarter, South had 28. De Pere had 26. Oh, yeah. And De Pere's was all on the ground. South had eight yards passing. Yeah, when we look at the stats coming into the second half, the biggest play for South was the fake punt. Their offense hasn't done anything no. either. Boy, and I'll tell you, they really got that play off quick. Sad time South was not ready. A little short. Yeah, they're going to be short. It's going to be a gain of five. Zellner's going to be short. Well, it looks now that I don't understand this. Oh, and now I do. I would have called timeout time a lot earlier to Pierre. What you waiting for? Interesting call now for DePierre, Marty. You know, you try to go for Quarterback it. Quarterback sneak 185 last time. <laughs> I know, but you don't get it, and you give a little life to South. Yeah, it's... I think there's going to be under, well, there's 47 seconds now, and they don't have any timeouts, and the way their defense is played, I would definitely go for it. I you would. Oh, no doubt. I'd punt. I'd make sure that South ain't going to have a long pass. To, all of a sudden, a kid slips, and you give up a long pass. Well, that's true. I'd, uh, I'll grant you that. I'd rather punt. I would still go for it. <laughs> yes, we'll see. <laughs> I'd rather be on the road. Of course, the maybe they'll uh, you know, line up and... Uh, the guy will just center it back to the deep back and he'll pooch punt it. Could happen. See what they do. If I'm to Pierre, I'm punting. I'm punting. Hey, Mr. Shrank, tone it down. We got an audience out here trying to listen to the game. <laughs> He's not even paying attention. Talk about Quincy. <laughs> TV shows. Yeah. All right, I here we go. Quincy. Fourth and a uh, little over one, actually. Yeah. Rutherford keeps it. He's got the first down, I'm pretty sure. Got it up far enough. Yeah, four progress takes to the 41. And we're at 42 seconds left. And ten. Pierce should be at the line right now. But we saw them try a 49-yard field goal before. They still going to need a little bit of yards for that. Meanwhile, tick, 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 40 seconds. Clock left. running. They're going to probably be throwing. Sellner the deep back. Herzog the up back. Rutherford looking. Goes deep. wide open. Fire wide open, and he dropped the ball. Had a shot at it at the 15 and dropped it. Emmett Dean, I think, uh, forgot who he was covering. He seemed to be the closest one, so unfortunately, Emmett, you get the blame. But that was uh, not hmm. what you wanted. That should have oh. been a six, easy. Well, I think he would have had trouble staying in bounds had he made the catch. Watch this. Mm -hmm. yeah, maybe not, <laughs> maybe not. He's a big target too. Yeah. Another pass. Oh, and a good cut in front of the receiver, knocking it down was uh, uh, Tristan Schmidt. Fire goes 6'5", that's a big target. Newhouse, 6 foot 175. 20 seconds left. Hey, you know, I just thought of something, too. If they can get it down, maybe 15 yards or so, even with a little bit of time left, they got uh, Wettstein to go for the uh, field goal. Right now, the flags are uh, not flapping much. They're just hanging there, so there's not much of a wind factor. Up back is Herzog. He gets stopped outside the 35. Wow. And, uh, that may be it. Well, they're going to try a 57-yard. <laughs> yeah. 55 yards, they're gonna call timeout. They're gonna do something. 37, 47, 53 yards. I don't know about that, Chris. I think it'd be more like 55. I think I, yep, you're right. 
teed up at the 45 and the 55. I was going to say into the wind, but you're looking at the flag. Uh, there's isn't. no flag action there. No, but I, with the, I just, the way the rain was coming, uh -huh. I thought it was going yeah. north to south. There you see uh, Mike Rank talking to the troops in the huddle. He's uh, telling Dakota Gamez, you better stop those guys. Telling Kumaro out there, along with uh, Cody McLaughlin. Also out there is uh, Wildman. I'd be all over yeah. Byer at six foot five. Rutherford drops deep, throws it over the middle, catches me. Is he going to get in? No, I don't think he got in there. They're, they're calling it a touchdown. Come on. I like to see that. Jeez. Let's look at the replay. Brett Marshall. Brett Marshall was the receiver. I thought he was down, Marty. Well, you. Yeah, jeez. We got to see the replay here. Come on, Kerry. He was down at the two, we thought. Here's the replay. Rutherford passes the ball when he makes the original stop. He gets it at about the 13 and just barrels through people. He's down, and then he gets up. Unless he put the ball over the top. Well, he gave him the touchdown. Extra point is good, and we're at halftime to peer up 28 to nothing on the strength of a 28-point quarter. Television is a powerful and influential medium that allows different groups the opportunity to produce programming that directly affects their own communities. Public, educational, and government access channels ensure that all people, regardless of race, age, gender, disability, religion, or economic status, have access to local government information and the use of a public communication forum. Make sure everyone has a voice. Support your local PEG channels. Sammy and I have high cholesterol. Specifically, Sammy and I have familial hypercholesterolemia, or FH, an inherited genetic disease that causes high cholesterol, often starting in childhood. FH affects more than 600,000 Americans, but often goes undiagnosed, leading to premature heart attack and death. If caught early, FH is treatable. Do you know if high cholesterol runs in your family? See a doctor and get screened. For more information, visit www.learnyourlipids.com. In Wisconsin, the laws are the same for bicyclists and motorists. So if you bike, ride with the traffic and obey stop signs and lights. Whether you ride a bike or drive a car, you must yield the right-of-way to pedestrians at marked and unmarked crosswalks. At intersections, always look for pedestrians before making a turn. And slow down in school zones and neighborhoods to keep our kids safe. Share and be aware. We're all responsible. High school, uh, you can see the teams getting ready for the second half. Some uh, halftime stats. Zellner for uh, Preble, uh, De Pere has 18 carries for 123 yards. Uh, the story is uh, Rutherford, the quarterback. Big Blake, two carries, 87 yards, Chris. He's destined for big things. 
Uh, I'll tell you, the, the big story, though, was that second quarter. Uh, a matter of fact, I was off a little bit. The first quarter, they only had 16 yards to pier. But in the second quarter, they had 256. Wow. And 209 of those were on the ground. I was just going to expand on your comment about, you know, it's all big plays, Marty. Right. I mean, a 65-yard run, 85-yard run, and then the long pass at the end of the half. 37. Yeah. I mean, 15-yard pass, kind of big. So uh, they've been uh, they've been dynamic. Uh, all of it happening in the second quarter for uh, South. They had uh, 28 yards in the first quarter. We got that one right, and uh, only 40 yards in the second quarter. And 24 of those came on the fake punt pass to uh, Gregory, which went for 24 yards. They finished the half, Chris, with only 68 yards, and uh, the Piers defense looked for real. Yeah, they well they got eight up in the box, and. You know, Canoes made some passes today, but they've just been a tad off, and, you know, they don't have the big play, and the pier has all the big plays, and, you know, the run game, again, for South, for the second time that we've seen them, it's just been kind of, you know... It hasn't been kind of. No. It's not been good. Right, and uh, we've mentioned the, the pier plays at 4-4. They're up front, and uh, basically got one-on-one -on -one coverage with the receivers, and we thought that Gregory and maybe Martinez could take a little advantage of that, but... I mean, the corners for the pier have been up to the task. Oh, yeah, for sure. On October 5th, that's uh, two weeks from today, uh, Sheboygan South High School will be celebrating the 1962 undefeated conference champions on ranked number one in the state in the final uh, state poll for high school football. They will get uh, recognized on October 5th, so uh, we want you out here for that. That's uh, going to be a nice event, the 1962 championship team. And uh, our next game will be uh, next week, Saturday, over at North High School when uh, the Northsiders celebrate 75 years of North High School. They're going to be, be playing Green Bay East uh, that night and uh, have a good chance of winning over that afternoon. Hopefully they'll win that. And then we come back here on the 5th for that uh, 62 celebration. Uh, South plays Bayport. And then uh, our last game of the year over on at the, on the north side will be south at north on uh, October 12th. There you see it, some of it. Yep, and uh, it's state ranked right now, Bayport. Uh, they're up at the top along with Southwest and Preble, and because they're only playing 18 games this year and you got a 12-team league, you know, obviously not everybody plays everybody. A um, nope, little bit of an unbalanced schedule that way. Yeah, and for uh, south, going up to Manitowoc next week, uh, will be a huge mungo game, let me tell you. Uh, I heard at the half that uh, they were trailing the Green Bay East tonight. Um, and uh, Manitowoc was? Yep. Holy cow. Uh, That's surprising. That Shepherd kid's pretty good. We'll see him next Saturday. All right. Uh, Wettstein's kick is deep. Ristovojevic takes it at the three. Picks up some good blocking. He's through the line. He's up to the 30, the 40. Wettstein makes the tackle, lost his helmet, but uh, Ristovojevic gets it out to the 45-yard line. Well, hopefully Coach Hine at halftime was real calm, just <laughs> trying to explain to the boys, let's just get a little bit at a time. Now, I wasn't expecting a 50-yard return here out to the 50-yard yard line, Marty, but hey, let's get a little bit back and then get our defense out there and play like we did in the first quarter. Give us a chance. This game is not over. But uh, let's just try to nick, pick our way down the field and let's get a score here, a score there, and hopefully set up a fourth quarter now. Let's see what happens. All right, Steen the deep back. Had a tough first half, as did most of the north uh, south runners. Pitch back to Steen. Pretty good blocking up front. Gets the corner. He's on loose and gets pushed out of bounds. But a nice pickup that time for Ben Steen. One person to break and I like that run by Steen getting them out there using those feet that boy Ben ball is going to be uh, spotted at the 29 yard line that's going to be a 21 yard pickup here they're one blocker away they had both uh, Martinez there and Wildman leading the block and unfortunately both of them took care of one guy and they didn't have that last person to kick out that corner Kristovojevic is the deep back in this set Wildman in motion, pick back to Boris, running hard. Uh, pretty good defense again by uh, 
to Pierre. He gets uh, down to the 25, so give him a pickup of four. Second down and six. Hey, you gotta take baby steps, right, Chris? Get yep. that first score, and then uh, hopefully the defense can hold and maybe yep. get another score. Martinez and Wildman are the up backs. Pitch back. Oh, back little dipsy doozle back to Knuth. And he gets it inside the 15 yard line. That pass was made by Alex Shibley. Shibley to uh, Knuth. First down and 10. Knuth plays a little basketball as well. Got those hands up. 11 yard pickup on that pass play. Great defense by DePierre, not selling totally out there, but still a first down for the Red Wings. Steen the deep back. Martinez and Wildman are up in front of him. Oops. Yeah. I think they're gonna catch uh, Miller that time. I think that was John. Nope, not Sullivan. That was uh, Jake Miller, you're right. Not many penalties this game, Chris. Nope. It's been pretty good that way. Very good discipline. I know you got to be happy with that. Yeah, well, I, I mean, hey, it's game five. You know, what we saw last week, five north was just Woody not Zimmerman, good. a big tight end on the uh, right end of the line. Chris, we haven't seen much of Cody. Yeah, double tights. It was uh, six feet, 235. Fake. Nuth has it. Tucks it down and he gets hammered at the 20 yard line. I don't know. I was trying to watch the downfield players there, Marty, and it didn't look like they really wanted to pass. Wildman was down the field, as was Martinez, but they didn't look like they're trying to get open, and uh, that just didn't look right. And it turned out wrong. <laughs> it turned out wrong. Didn't look right, and it turned out uh, wrong. All righty, we got uh, second down and uh, 15. No gain on that play. Option. A little option play. Knuth keeps it. Spins off a one tackler and then gets pushed back at about the 17-yard uh, line. Pretty good defensive uh, stand that time. Give him three yards on the pickup. Well, there's no doubt that they're going to have two chances to pick this up. Also, you know, it starts with that penalty made at third and long, and just yeah. been kind of You know, it reminds me a little bit uh, of that Badger game. Whenever they got first and 15, they couldn't make up the yardage. Nope. And uh, we're seeing a little bit of that tonight. Gregory. Gregory in the corner of the end zone, and that pass is intercepted. Not a good pass there. That'll be the uh, fifth. Interception of the season for Knuth and the uh, not a good time for that to happen. A little bit of mojo going and kind of threw it up there hoping Gregory would make the play, but there you see the replay, but great position there by Blair Griffin. Um, First and 10 for uh, DePierre at the 20-yard line. Pitch to Zellner, trying to cut it back. He gets hammered down at about the 22 or 23 yard line. Boy, you hate to see that, Chris. They were right on the cusp of getting a score and that penalty really hurt them. And then they just were not able to recover. It just seems like too many of the passes are touch passes, you know, instead of throwing it to the, to the guy. Yep. And uh, Pierre is, you know, they're big. I mean, they're a big, tall team, and, you know, they got big guys out there and lots of opportunities. Rutherford uh, on a fake up the middle to Zellner, and then he capes it, gets it out to the 25, give him a gain of three. Every time he holds the ball, Marty, I get worried. 
after what you told me he did in the first half. Yeah, no, his average is way down now. <laughs> he was averaging 43 and a half yards a carry. He only got three that time. Third down and five, big play here for the Southsiders. Bayer and Newhouse both off to the left this time. Rutherford back, throws deep, Bayer's open, pass over his head. Deep south. fourth down. I was going to say south with a little bit of blitz there, but Rutherford cleared that and just kind of overshot his intended receiver there. Fourth down. Second punt of the game for. Yeah, they didn't the do pier. such a great job in the first one, if I remember correctly. 33 yards. Yeah. Huffman back deep for the Red Wings. Good rush. Punt is away. Huffman takes oh, it at the 34. You gotta be kidding me. They're going to call that? And he's knocked down at the 46, and there is a flag back where he the punter just was. He touched the punter. He didn't rough him. He didn't run into him. He just touched him. That is a horrible call. Well, you know, here's watch here. take a look watch at this. What I happened. saw the guy 24 watch. go by. He doesn't get knocked down. He just touched him. And he wasn't going to pull it, and then he pulls it out. That, you, that's running by. Now, Gamez was not the guy that made contact. It was somebody else. But... Uh, Gamez went by him, another South defender pulled up and bumped him. I mean, That's certainly didn't uh, call for a no. penalty. I agree with you there, Chris. It's not running into, that wasn't roughing. He touched him, he's a It was an player. Academy Award performance. Well, I mean, even if he touched him, he didn't do anything to him. That's, That's just a horrible call. That's just a... And I watched the official, and he wasn't going to throw the flag, and then he decides to throw it. Well, it's only a five-yard penalty. Be fourth and one. Oh, boy. You better have your defense on. That's a bad call. It's just a horrible call. Jeepers, creepers, buddy. What are you watching? Rutherford's coming back in. I think they're going to go for it here, Chris. Yep. South calls a timeout. Oh Men are not ready for it? I mean, come on. What you... And he got to burn a timeout. Come on. Just disappointed, Marty. Next week, Saturday, we'll be at uh, North High School when Green Bay East comes to town. The game is on a Saturday because it's the uh, 75th anniversary of North High School. And then the following week, we'll be right back here when Bayport comes to uh, Sheboygan South. And uh, on that uh, October 5th evening, we'll also be celebrating a reunion of the 1962 conference and number one ranked state team from South. Big John Ellis said he's going to be here. I think uh, Billy Miller from that team will be here. Hopefully they'll get some of the other uh, players. But uh, we look forward to doing that. Hopefully we can get some interviews. Our game here, we have uh, 729 left in the third quarter. It's uh, fourth and inches for DePierre. Mike Rank in the huddle talking to uh, the team about uh, making this stop on fourth down. And uh, pretty weak call on that uh, knocking the punter down. He didn't knock him down. He fell down. He didn't fall down. He stood up. He didn't even move. I mean, it wasn't an Academy Award performance? No, he stood there, and the guy just hit him. Well, stop hitting me. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I didn't do anything. <laughs> even Dan Thames, the assistant coach, thought that was a bogus call. Come on, Dan. <laughs> Another shout out to Dan for the help with the names. That was a very nice him. Rutherford uh, looking for another 80 yarder. Only gets about four. But he does rush it forward for the first down. It's gonna be first and 10 for the Redbirds.
33, three yard pickup. It's gonna be first and 10. Zellner looking, not finding much. Gets hit in the backfield. It's gonna be second down. Give him a no gain on that. We're at 6.50 now. Time's starting to be a little bit of an enemy for a South. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta believe they're gonna be running the ball a lot in this situation. Yep. Shorten it up, shorten the game up. Yeah, it looks like somebody lined up offside. It's just a matter of who did it. They're pointing over at uh, De Pere's side. Offside De Pere. Well, they that's run up so fast and they just get in their stance. How do you know where the ball is? I mean, that's... Hard to stop you running yeah. up there so fast. <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden you're, you're down and maybe you are over and that was the case. Doesn't make up for the contact call. <laughs> It doesn't make up for the tapping the punter on the <laughs> shoulder. Hey, what time is it? <laughs> That's five. <laughs> Rutherford back. It passes incomplete to Zellner. Third and 15. Rutherford came in at over. So who are you going to be for on, uh, is it a Monday night game, the Packers? Well, of course, Green Bay. You're not going to be for Russell Wilson? Not this Monday. Okay. Next I just week, following week, Sunday. Just wondering. Zellner uh, trying to break through, and he does break through. Picks up about five yards. A nice little run there, but it is going to be fourth down. It's going to be fourth down and ten. Well, they're going to have to punt anyways, but it cost you about 15 yards, and it cost you two minutes off the clock. Yeah. And South had to burn a timeout. Five thirty and counting, left in the third quarter. To peer up 28 to nothing on the strength of a 28 point second quarter. Oh, well, oh man. Ball is gonna be uh, downed at the five yard line. That is one heck of a good punt. 66, Marty. Jeez. Oh, that works. <laughs> <laughs> that is the understatement of the game, Chris. <laughs> that works. <laughs> Now well, let's look at it from the positive side. Now Steen can go 95. There you get a good shot of the uh, South High Band. They've been uh, very entertaining here tonight, along with the drum line. Their goal is to make noise at halftime, and they definitely did that. Steen the deep back. Here comes the pier. Steen right up the middle is uh, not going very far. Might not even got back to the line of scrimmage actually. Second down. Loses a yard on the play, Chris. Gregory and Martinez are uh, left and right. Ristovojevic is in the slot on the left side. And Knuth in the shotgun. Quick one to uh, Martinez is incomplete. I think you're gonna get a motion call, procedure call on South. If I were uh, De Pere, I'd decline it. No, I was wrong. I thought I saw a flag thrown. Third and 11. 
I was wrong. I'm sorry. Wasn't well, the first time tonight, and it won't be the last. Don't worry about it. Huh. Ooh, that looked a little quick by Wildman. Over the head of uh, Steen, uh, Jake's uh, Jake Knuth's pass goes awry, and it'll be fourth down. Once again, I got a compliment to the pure defense there. You know, they try to pull receivers and people out, so maybe create some space there, but good job by DePierre studying and know who your guys were. They, You know, even if Steen would have caught that ball, I don't think uh, he would have got yeah, it. He'd have been pretty tough to get the first down, you're right. Good just, uh, defense by Eric Nolan. You know, it's, excuse me, Nick Aiken on that play. Evan Newhouse is uh, back to receive the punt. He falls for the fair catch and makes it at about the 38. The first and 10 for the Redbirds. Four twenty-seven remaining in the third quarter. Rutherford uh, trotting into the huddle there, number five. He goes 6'2", 185. He sure showed pretty good speed, and I mean, he was determined on that run. He took Schmidt and threw him out of the way. Oh, yeah. 6'2", 185. Rutherford, nice, easy throwing motion, and uh, <laughs> the receiver, Byer, ran right over the defender. That's why the flag is down. We hope. Yeah, Emmett Dean was uh, victimized, and don't tell me you're going to call it on South. You can't do that. They're both going for the ball. Watch this, fans. Watch this. He ran right over the guy. Well, let's going for the ball. We're waiting for the, the guy with the flag to come back. And <laughs> he's still at he's, the five. Well, he's, he's catching his breath before he gets there. The other guy that made the call. Oh, oh you got to be kidding. They called it on South. <laughs> That's not a good call. Oh, man. Are oh, you boy. kidding me? Jeez. Bad enough. It was bad. Do these guys just want a 35-point running score or what? After those two calls. That is just horrendous. There is no way. That should have been really a no call. I mean, they're both oh, going after the well, ball. Well, you saw him put his hands out and push the guy. That is just horrible. Zellner off right, run the right end, and uh, gets it down to about the 20, and a flag comes in. I think we're going to get holding on uh, De Pierre. I can't believe that pass interference call. <laughs> oh, I couldn't remember the uh, contact foul either, but. Yeah. Holding on De Pierre. Second down. Oh, pardon me. First down. Remains first down. Ball moved all the way back to the 33. Hand off to Zellner. Uh, he gets stopped. Nice tackle in there by uh, Dylan Kummerow. Oh, Second down. Picks up a yard on the play, Chris. That's all. Good play there by Dylan. Towel on the field came off of Zellner. Uh, Boris, oh, they're gonna watch out, Boris. They'll get you for a penalty jumping on top. Once the guy's down, he's down. You don't have to jump on him. This isn't like the NFL. He just wants to get credit for the sack. <laughs> yeah, there you go. All the way back to the 40 yard line, a loss of eight on the play. Third and 
27. You watching this official here and his demeanor? He acts like he doesn't want to be here. Well, it's too nonchalant. Yep. The runner, Herzog, slipped and fell at the 40. It'll be fourth down. Give Herzog a no, yeah, no, uh, no plus yardage on that. It's going to be fourth down. It's the same one who threw the penalty. Watch his as he's walking across the 50. Oh, I'm getting paid a lot tonight, but I you know whatever effort I give. Huffman and Dean back to receive the punt. Kick is away by McGowan. And not very good. Not very good is, is okay. 2.16 left in the third. South will have it. You know, that's three calls, Marty. I thought that's really gone against South. First at the end of the half, where they looked obvious that the guy was down before yeah. he crossed. I give him slack on that because we're pretty far away and we're on the, you know, they had a bad angle on it. Do you see where his knees were? They were like the three yard line, unless that guy's eight feet tall. <laughs> and uh, pass interference and uh, the contact on the punt. Knuth uh, pitching it over to Steen. He picks it up, tries to get some yardage, and is knocked down at the 25. Give him a loss of one. Maybe we'll give him a no gainer on that. How about that, Chris? Knuth, quick out to uh, Martinez, and uh, he's knocked out of bounds at about the uh, 33. He's a little bit short of a first down. For Martinez, that's his second catch of the ball game. Third down and two. Wildman in motion, pitch back to uh, Steen. He breaks through the line, and he's knocked out of bounds at about the 44-yard line. Nice pick up there by Ben. Right, and again, though, not allowing the big play to Pierre. Steen looked like he's going to pick up a little bit of mojo, which he gets outside here and watch those feet go. But again, a nice open field tackle. and Ooh, Wildman, limit the damage. leader on the block, Chris. Yeah, just limit the damage to Pierre doing that as we're under a minute and a third. Still trail by four scores. 35 seconds and counting. Pitch back to Ristovoyevich and he gets knocked out of bounds at about the 45. Give him a pick up a one. Of course he's not out of bounds. How can he not be stopping the clock there? <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. Gotta get our sandwiches by nine o'clock. <laughs> Is it Major Lee's? <laughs> or are we going to Wyman's? He got blasted out of bounds. <laughs> How can he be out of bounds? <laughs> Second down and nine. Steen looking for an opening. He finds it. He's got the corner. He's down to the 40, the 30, the 20. The 10 and stays on his feet, but he's knocked out of bounds at about the uh, six yard line. Hey, finally a big play. I like that. Ben Steen breaks it. First and goal. Hustle up, have a play. Let's run a couple plays in the quarter yet. Don't not run a play here because they're going to start the clock. We want to run a play or two here before the quarter. You need every play possible. You need 49 yard run on that one, Chris. Yeah. Clock has stopped, but even though it's not supposed to be. Oh yeah, he was out of bounds. That one they finally called out of bounds. 
Yeah. Ristovojevic is a deep back. And pitch back to him. And uh, he's hit in the backfield. It's going to be a loss. Clock's going to run out on that uh, loss of yardage. I'm David Stewart. Want to play? If you haven't picked up a musical instrument, maybe it's time to start. And there's no better way to express yourself and have fun with your friends. Learn more at wannaplaymusic.com. We're asking folks about marriage. You know, marriage makes me think of sports. You know, teamwork, dedication. Okay, let's see what people say. Let's say your marriage is a sport. What sport would it be? Basketball. Surfing. You have to be a team sport. A lot of back and forth. A lot of people watching. So how many people are influenced by your marriage? Hundreds. You really think about the ripple effect. It's like a wave. <laughs> <laughs> Want to improve your marriage? For ideas, go to foryourmarriage.org. A message from the Catholic Church. Back at South High School, just uh, getting ready to start fourth quarter action. South will have it first and goal on about the seven or eight yard line. It's uh, 28 to nothing to Pure. Uh, big 28 point second quarter, Chris, is what's uh, done it. Yeah, big, big plays. And finally, South got a big play on that run by Steen. Let's yeah, see if he they has, can. He has uh, 79 yards and five carries that quarter, so he's had a good quarter there. Eighty six yards in the game rushing. Ben also has one reception for two yards. Knuth in the shotgun. Cam is in motion. Inside handoff to Risto. No, Andrew Wildman takes the draw play and scores right up the middle. And the Red Wings are on the board, Chris. Wildman right up the middle, nice run. Good blocking too. Helping, helping him get in there was uh, Dylan Markeltz, number 41. Huffman's kick to the end zone, uh, to the uprights is good. South on the board. Well, onside kick. I don't know, Marty. Yeah, I think about, you know, just early on an onside kick is, uh, Short field, which means you got a little long way, and you're still down three scores. Yeah, I, I hear you. I guess I'd give it a whirl and kick it down there, and hope your D can three and out them in you know, about three minutes. So two minutes if you get the ball back at about the ten minute mark, down three scores. But uh, once again, your defense is going to have to step up, and you know, I mean, they're just going to have to be a rock. I'd kick it deep. Do you believe this, Chris? I've got uh, DePierre with only six yards in the third quarter. He only had uh, six yards rushing and eight carries, and they were 0 for 2 passing. And when you look at my sheet, they've only, they only ran about eight or nine plays on offense. Well, I mentioned it before, you take away that 65-yard run, the 85-yard run, and that pass at the end of the half, and I mean, it's even, but we can't take those away, but, you know. Right, you can't take them away, but uh, it's a uh, blooper kick taken on the 20 by uh, Zellner. He's looking to get to the outside, and uh, oh, makes a good cutback. And now he's knocked down at the 32. 
Well, when you get a lot of excitement for 12 yards. Well, I was going to say, when he gets extra chances, that's when you get a better chance to maybe knock it away, but he did a good job. Here's the replay. See, right here, he cuts back, and this is where somebody from behind could maybe punch it away, but there was no Red Wings to get it there. You know, you got to try to strip the ball or do whatever. We need a turnover big time. That would help, too. First and 10, ball on the 31. No first downs, boys. Herzog on the carry. Good job. Gets stacked up right near the line of scrimmage. Maybe give him a yard. But that's about it. Yep, that was Herzog. Second down. We'll give him two yards. They're coming up here pretty fast. That's good. That's good. That's good. Just stop them. Stop them. Flag a hole. Flag in the middle. Ball. Rutherford rolling, looking. He's got his receiver, oh, Newhouse. No. He's oh, got the no. first down and then some. And gets knocked out of bounds near the 50-yard line. On the 45, that's going to make it 18-yard uh, gain, Chris. Jeez. Oh boy. Clock running, 10 minutes left. Draw play. And I think that was Herzog took it right up the middle. That is a backbreaker. Yeah, that, that was uh, ad actually Aaron Stebor. And uh, that one uh, is very deflating. And they run them back to back plays like that to basically the same area and uh, cannot be defended. And uh, Oh boy. Well, the Pierce slipping in uh, some of their other guys. Newhouse and uh, Bayer are still in at the wide receivers. 
And the inside handoff running back, uh, Herzog, gets a good gain there. The run was made by uh, Blair Griffith. Uh, they're giving it to Herzog, so we'll call it that too. Gamma is on the tackle. Yeah, five yard pickup. He just missed getting the first down, Chris. It's going to be third down and one, actually, third and inches. Timeout called by De Pierre. 8.53 remaining. The score is uh, De Pierre 28, South 7. Well, the defense has picked up a little bit here in the second quarter. But uh, that second quarter really cost the Red Wings. They gave up 256 yards, and uh, Chris had mentioned the big plays. They had a 15-yard pass play, a 66-yard run by Zellner, an 85-yard run by uh, Rutherford, and then on, a 37-yard pass <laughs> to end the half. Uh, that went from Rutherford to uh, Alex Marshall, or Brett Marshall, and uh, those were your big plays. The one that, well, they all hurt, but that last one at the end of the half was, because uh, the guy looked down and... Uh, that kind of takes you back to Philadelphia, 4th and 26. He wasn't down, he was open. Third and inches. And this guy, they've Rutherford, converted this every time. Uh, takes it for the first down. First and 10. That'll get the clock rolling. We're at 8.50 and enemy of South. And they had him, and they just couldn't stop him on uh, third down and long. Well, you know, we saw that right away when the second quarter started. They had a couple of big plays right away, and uh, just seemed like they had their sea legs after that first quarter and just uh, went right after it. They had a 13-yard run by Zellner, a 20-yard run by Zellner. Then he lost a yard. Then he, Herzog had a gain of two. And, uh, and that 15-yard uh, pass to uh, Bayer. Second down and six. Ball carrier uh, Emmett Kulik is uh, knocked down at the uh, 35. It's pretty tough for uh, the South coaching staff watching as the, the time is just running off. Third and three. Short. Aaron Stebor on the carry doesn't get much. He's not going to have the first down. It'll be fourth down. Give Stebor a yard. Stebor. Going to get a timeout by South here, Marty. On fourth down. And he might send that uh, kid back out there to try a field goal. Wettstein, or is it a little too far yet? Actually, if you're De Pere, I'd go for the first down again. I mean, what the well, heck? Well, you have a timeout now to think about it. Yeah. Hey, that was pretty nice of the Southsiders to do that for them. You know, they're either going to, you know, gives them a chance to relax and maybe think about what we really want to do here. I don't think they're going to kick a field goal. I would. I was, you know, I mentioned about uh, not having a lot of plays run in the in the third quarter. They've got as many plays on this drive as they've had the whole third quarter. So look at all the green. Yep. Then you look here, you know, there's some of those were penalties, so we don't want to count those, but right. still. Well, they uh, South scored at 11.57 of the fourth, and then uh, since Yeah, first then, play of the quarter. Since then, the Pierce had the ball, and 
7-12 left, so they've had it quite a while. And here comes the uh, the Pierre offense. Fourth and two. Inside handoff, the uh, running back, I don't think, got it. Coach Hines already got his offensive playbook out. Herzog did not get it. Give him a gain of one. It's going to be first and ten Red Wings. Ball is going to be spotted on the 34-yard line. Well, if you have a hurry-up offense of any sorts, it's time to bring it out. 7.08 left, down three scores, and down to one timeout. Steen the deep back. Knuth back at the controls. Offsides to Pierre. Plus five. Yep. Linebacker jumped offside. And uh, if he wouldn't have jumped offside, that penalty would have been on south for the blocking back moving. Wildman and uh, Martinez are the up backs. Inside handoff, Steen trying to pile forward. He gets pushed back and he's still on his feet. And he finally gets torn down into pure territory at the 49 yard line. Wow, good run by Ben. This is where you want the chain gang to be a little slower. Oh, they got it. Gotta be up there, boys. Gotta go, we gotta go. There you see, Steen. 12 yard pickup for Ben. He's got over 100 yards rushing tonight. Wrist. Martinez. Oh. No. It's uh, Knuth. Big Jake. Gets it down to the 40 yard line. He's just short of the first down. Boy, Martinez is running a great pattern down the field. Kind of going to the uh, post there. Looked like he was running a flag and then went back to the post. He was, looked like he was going to be wide open, but Jake decided to keep the ball. Yeah, made a good fake to the running back. Second and one, but the clock's running. Option play, Jake keeps it, tries to spin, but a nice tackle made by uh, number 25, Alex Charneski. First down. Gotta be a little quicker, boys. I'll show a little more hustle. Gotta get there, gotta be quicker, gotta be quicker. First and 10 ball spotted on the uh, 37 yard line. Walking up to the line. 550 and counting. Wildman uh, trots in off the <laughs> sideline, <laughs> joins the huddle. Knuth nice fires play. a nice route over the middle by Gregory, but the pass just a little bit low. That's a great route there because obviously the Pierre does not want to get beat deep. Gregory kind of pushes his corner back and then just curls across. You'll see him come across here. The Pierre doesn't want to get beat deep. Delivers one. And unfortunately, that actually should have been a pretty easy pass to complete. Wildman in the backfield, Knuth in the shotgun, Ristovojevic in the slot at the top of your screen. Inside handoff to Wildman, he slips down. He had a chance to go, but he slipped down at the 34 yard line. Third down and seven. Steen in the backfield again. Wildman and Steen in the backfield. Gregory in the slot this time. Martinez wide to the right. And we get a timeout south. 5.04 remaining. Chris didn't like that call. He wanted it right away or not at all. 
Our uh, next game will be uh, next Saturday when we travel over to the north side. They will be hosting Green Bay East. And the reason the game is on Saturday, it's uh, the 75th year of North High School. And then uh, the following week, October 5th, that's a Friday, we'll be back here when uh, South hosts Bayport. And they'll also be celebrating the uh, team reunion of the 50-year reunion of the 1962 team. State championship and conference championship undefeated. Probably the best team in city history. And then uh, we'll give the number two nod to uh, the 204 team here at South. And you know who I'm going to give the number three nod for City High School football team? You've been here forever, Marty. I don't know. 1967, my senior year. I think we had uh, probably the third best team in city history. They actually let me play back then. Steen in motion. Fired out to Ben. He's got it. Looking to break a tackle, trying to get a block, trying to give him a little help was uh, Dylan Markeltz. Pick up a six on the play. Second catch for uh, Steen. Fourth and inches, actually. They like to give it to Wildman on these uh, short plays. And Knuth keeps it, gets it down to the 25. Nice little surge that time. Wheel route, uh, Steen here, please. Gonna get a timeout? No. 422 remaining. Uh, I think they're uh, talking about somebody blowing a whistle in the stands, maybe? Could that be? Hard to know. Lightning, uh, if it's lightning, we're going to pull the players off the field and wait a half an hour. You got to be kidding me. We'll make sure this is an official uh, looking off to the west. Uh, we got a window back here, but, uh, well, we weren't looking for it, so we didn't see it. But, uh, Kerry, you can turn off the machine. by a vocal option. Pitch out to Wildman, turns the corner, he's got the first down inside.
the ball, picks it up, and then he gets wrapped up and knocked down outside the 20-yard line. Oh, boy, that's it. That would be it. Yep, it'll be first and 10 to Pierre. Ball is going to be on the 18-yard line, loss of four on the play for Jake. Gonna call it to 23, that's actually a loss of nine. And running through the middle is Zellner. He's still on his feet. And he's finally knocked down at about the 46 or 47 yard line. Oh boy. Alex Sheebly dragged about 15 and uh, no timeouts for South. And uh, it's just a matter of time now. 33 yard run there, Chris. Hey, they're not moving so fast now, are they? Well, Zellner's gonna have a real big game, Chris. He had 123 yards at halftime. He picked up eight in that third quarter to give him 131. First down. I think that was Zellner again. Picked up about four yards. In the backfield now for uh, the Redbirds is uh, Aaron Stebor. He gets the handoff and gets wrapped up right at the line of scrimmage and knocked down. Getting up off the bottom of the pile was Tanner Martins. Nothing going there for uh, Stebar. Third down. Clock running, 135. Rutherford rolling, looking a little short pass to Zellner. He slips off one tackler, jumps over another, cuts back to the middle of the field before he's finally knocked down by Alex Shebley. Late flag, Marty. Oh, boy. I don't understand. Well, if that's right, you can't hurdle. I don't like that rule. Jeez. What's the matter with being a little athletic? Holding on Bayer. Oh. Holding on Bayer. Okay, they're marking off the penalty from about the 28. No, it'll be and fourth and one. No. It'll be fourth and one. Fourth and two. We have third and one, because it's a spot foul. Well, they're giving him third and one, because he accepted the penalty, so yep. that figures out. And trying to move the pile. It was Rutherford, he gets pushed back. He was down to about the 33 yard line. And that'll be it. It'll be take the knee. Well, disappointed, Marty. Yep, a big second quarter really made all the difference. Yeah, I thought they'd catch this one and lead themselves closer to the playoffs, but uh, not to be. So. No. 30 seconds and counting. And they'll take a knee here. And that'll be it. Well, Chris, most of the happening was in that second quarter when uh, DePierre 
total 256 yards after only getting six in the first quarter and uh, scored four touchdowns on uh, four pretty big plays. And uh, any more any more to add to that? No, just, just disappointed for uh, the Red Wings. I thought we'd get one tonight. And uh, they have to get their work done and against Manitowoc. And uh, they got Manitowoc, Bayport, and South. Two out of three. That's what you need, boys. Good luck. Alrighty, with that, one more time, the final score was De Pere 28, Sheboygan South 7. De Pere moves to a 4 and run, and they are now in the playoffs. South drops to 2 and 3. Our next game is going to be uh, next uh, Saturday when we travel over to the north side. Uh, they will host Green Bay East, who won tonight over Manitowoc. And then. Uh, the next week, October 5th, Friday night, we'll be back here at uh, South, and uh, the big happening that night will be the uh, reunion of the 1962 Conference and State Championship team. And with that, for the crew, Kerry Coutzer, our director, Eric Wiesman, and Richard Bartson, the cameraman. For my partner, Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you down the road.